are back, ladies, with a heated eyelash curler. This is a very exciting thing. You've all been asking for it for, I can't tell you how many emails I received about, is your heated eyelash curler available yet? So I'm really excited to share with you in this video. I had I did a video, uh, I think it was in 2012 or 13, on my technique. I've been doing this for a very long time. It's just that the heated eyelash curler that I was selling here in the studio was discontinued. So I kind of just defaulted back to using my Shuamora, which is my traditional eyelash curler, which is great. It just doesn't give you that long lasting curl. So, um, and a lot of women can't use a traditional eyelash curler because their lashes are too fragile. They can't take a lot of tension on them. So this is the alternative. So you have a choice. You can use a traditional eyelash curler. I suggest the Shuamora, or you can use a heated eyelash curler. So. This is my heated eyelash curler. It comes in this box that is sealed. Double A battery is needed. It does not come with the battery. And I'm very excited about my packaging, uh, my designer that I worked with for all of my stuff actually, and also my book. She designed my beautiful book, which was so fun. And ladies, two years ago in November, I mean, I can't believe it's been two years. So I was thinking, I've mentioned my book here and there in my videos, but if you are really struggling with your gray hair journey because of this pandemic or because that you've been not able to go to the salon or you've just decided to, this is the perfect time to let it go and do it. This is a great book to kind of keep you going. It's a workbook style, so you get involved. I want you to write your thoughts down. There is sections where you can write them down. Um, you know, from your takeaways from each chapter. I do in my own signature style, of course, each chapter comes with a special cocktail that you can create for yourself and enjoy each chapter. This one's called Silver Storm. Um, and it's just a really raw book. It's just me telling you how it is. I don't sugarcoat it. Two years in November that I launched this book at Neiman Marcus in the beauty department. They hosted my book signing and it was, so incredible, that is a, that's where I wanted to be. I wanted to be surrounded by beauty and fragrance and cosmetics and skincare and it just came to life and it was so beautiful. And then I hustled around the country in New York and Miami doing my book signings, meeting you. It was so much fun. So um, all of my packaging, you know, just always reminds me of my, my book that came out and I don't know, everything just kind of all comes together. So I'm gonna show you a little a tutorial of how I do my eyelashes. You can skip forward if you want to. Um, I was using the dry shampoo with nettle from Corain. This is nice because if I see areas that look, like this is day four of my blowout. If I see areas that are like a little bit not so bright white, this is what I've always done. I've told you this before with multiple different um, uh, dry shampoos. So you're, you're gonna see, do you see how, like look, watch on the side, like watch down, here, do you see how it makes it white? So that's kind of like another little secret that I'll do if my hair is looking like not so fresh. I, yes, you're supposed to use this on your roots and stuff, but I'll use it on my hair. <laughs> so it makes it more white, makes it, you know, a little bit more refreshed. So that's just a little bit of a technique. Here's my money maker, which you know I had the big one in my last video. This is a travel size flexible hold hairspray. I love this product. It smells so good. It's from Dry Bar. And see how see how different that mist is? It's not so ag aggressive. Um, so I'll use this just to kind of tame my hair down and put it in my purse on the go. It's really great. I just love the smell. I actually sometimes just spray it to smell it. <laughs> um, all right, so let me show you a couple little tips. If you're having issues with your lashes and they're not growing or they're short and you want to really help strengthen and grow your lashes fuller, longer, the Grande Lash MD, this is what I've been using for years and years, selling it in the studio. We have this online. I use this every night. When I brush my teeth, I put it on like a little eyeliner and it lasts you three months, this tube. $65, it's not a drug. Um, that's what I really like about it. So the Grande Brow Serum is something I also do. So I basically have these both like sitting there waiting for me. I'll use the Brow Serum. Brow Serum is a four month supply and it's $70. So great duo to help strengthen your brows, your lashes, etc. especially when you're wanting to really emphasize your lashes and we're wearing masks. So that's what you really see. 
So today I'm just gonna tell you what I'm wearing before I get into the tutorial. I am actually using the Cameo Lip Liner as my lipstick, and then I just have on my Peppermint Infused Clear Lip Gloss, something I've been doing lately, which I really love, simple, easy. And then I'm wearing Choices on as my eyeshadow today. I did a little bit more makeup because I wanted to, and then my little lashes. Um, choices is a really great fall palette we came out with. Um, it's all about choices, right ladies? It's all about a choice. What's your attitude today? What's your choice? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna work out? Are you gonna eat healthy? What are your choices? What are your habits? Everyone has a choice in life. So Choices is a very important palette for me because every time I wear it and I see myself throughout the day, I remind myself I have choices in life. I have a choice to put up with whatever it is. I have a choice to not put up with whatever it is. I have a choice to react a certain way. Those are choices and they're positive choices and I, I tend to really try to focus my energy on that positive choices in life and really just check in with myself. So let me just show you what the heated eyelash curler looks like. This is it. It has um, a beautiful design. I wanted it to be not too big for the heated part for your actual lashes. Um, so this is really nice for women that have larger eyes like I do, or if you have smaller eyes, you can still be able to use this. Um, it comes without the battery. So you wanna use a AA battery, like I had said, the positive is on its way down. So that's what you put, you put it towards the, the base of the cap. You, you put the cap on and it has to match up with the little arrow. There's a little indention right there, indentation. So you're gonna basically line those up with the arrow and then turn it on and you're gonna see the red light turn on. You're gonna wait for a minute or two until it's heated. I would always suggest testing it with your finger before you take it to your eyelashes, okay? Just to make sure, just to feel what, what kind of heat is at that little wand, okay? That's what I always do. So um, that is basically, it when it comes to the heated eyelash curler. And then I'm gonna just take you through what I do and what it looks like. We're gonna go right into the application and how I do my curling of my lashes with a heated eyelash curler. So my heated eyelash curler has been on and I'm going to go to the base of my lashes and I'm going to go straight up towards my brows. So I'm literally like twisting this heated eyelash curler. If you can see, I'm going to the base, pulling up, and I'm literally like molding my lashes. So that is what I do to really get that bend. I'm not touching my my eyelid. Nothing, no heat is on my actual skin, just on my lashes. So I can start seeing that they're curving, that they're bending, and this is really like my pre-application. My lashes are bent a little bit on my right eye and then I'm gonna do my left eye now. Now that I've got some bend to my lashes, I'm going to keep the heated eyelash curler on. I have two choices with my mascara that I usually use, Nicole Cosmetics, which you know why I love my mascara that I came out with because of the wand, the tiny teeth on both sides and it's flat, so you can really get to the base and up. Or I've been using for years also the Chanel Intense. This is Noir. This is the Lay Volume de Chanel. And basically, you have, you know, you always have choices. Like I'm not using just one product that I show in my videos. You can always go back and see what I've used. Um, today I'm gonna go in on my lashes with the Chanel mascara to the base, 
working its way up. This is a little bit different of a wand than my wand. If you have very short lashes, my mascara is much better for you because you're gonna be able to get those lashes, every single one. When I have longer lashes like this, I can use not such a fine mascara wand. So I like the creamy formula of this. I love how the other, my, my mascara basically grabs the lashes. So I'll use that on my bottom because I find that these wands are too hard to get the bottom lashes. So I will show you that in a minute. So I'm putting my mascara on and then I'm going to allow it to dry. You can still see how beautiful my lashes are lifted. So you can see that they have that nice bend. They're going to have an intense curl in a minute when you see my little extra trick that I do. So again, base coming up to the, the end of the lash, just fanning them out really nicely. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with Nicole Cosmetics mascara because of these little teeth are going to grab all my bottoms and they're going to just give me just enough. I always find that if I ha use a bigger wand on the bottom, I have tons of mascara clumping on my lashes or I have it on my skin. So this is a really nice wand if you have short lashes and you wanna get your bottom lashes, it's perfect. Now you might be happy with this curl or if you want to have long lasting staying power with your lashes all day, more than if you were going to use a, a traditional uh, eyelash curler, you're going to take your heated eyelash curler, your mascara is dry now, and I'm going to just go to the base and do the same application, which is basically like sealing your lashes into the form of the curl. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to go to the base, take my lashes, and I'm gonna curl them up with the mascara on them. And I'm gonna get a really beautiful staying power because of the mascara, the heat, the curl. It's really beautiful and it's such less stress on my lashes. So I feel like my lashes are longer on my left side. I've been sleeping on my right side, so I kind of have felt my lashes have been a little bit more compromised on my right. Actually, you can really see it in this video, but uh, that's why I am always using my Grande Lash Lash Serum. I've been using it for years and I use the Brow Serum. I just feel like feeding my lashes constantly. Um, I sleep on a silk pillowcase, but you know, I, I tend to sleep on my side sometimes and I, I do notice it with my lashes if I am sleeping on my side too much. So I try to sleep on my back, but um, you can see, it's really, it's funny. You can see the difference between the two. Um, but this is going to be a beautiful curl that's going to last you all day. I really like the stain power of it. I do find that when I use a traditional eyelash curler that I get that instant curl, but then over time throughout the day, it goes down. So that's my little tip on how to really get that, that beautiful curl. It, it does take a little practice. It does take a little bit more patience. So instead of just going in for it and you know putting stress on the lashes, you do need to take your time with a heated eyelash curler and really mold the lashes. And then once you do do that, you're going to really see a difference. And I think you ladies that, that really don't find that you can get the look that, or you can achieve really the look you want with a traditional eyelash curler, you're gonna really love a heated eyelash curler. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.